The Honourable David Parker. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, can I endorse the comments of Dr Russell Norman? Uh, I don't think there's much to add to that, really. We aren't creating new offences through this retrospective legislation. Uh, we should also always take care in this House not to, uh, as a general rule, pass retrospective legislation. Uh, but there are always exceptions to the general rule, and the Labor Party has formed the view that this is a suitable exception to that uh, normal rule that we should not have legislation uh, passed with retrospective effect. In terms of the issue of urgency, uh, when these sorts of issues do arise, uh, as they seem to every three or four years, I can remember a, a prior um, change to one of the um, uh, police uh, legislation about three years ago where we had to retrospectively validate what had been happening. Um, uh, when there is a need to do it retrospectively, it sometimes goes with the need to do it promptly, which we achieve through urgency. Uh, Mr Speaker, as uh, Russell Norman has said, and I'm sure other speakers have said, uh, as, as a consequence, we are willing to say we will retrospectively validate what these bylaws have already purported to do, but in some cases have not done legally. So the change that Parliament is proposing to endorse through the land transport speed limits validation and other matters bills is to validate the speed limits that have been set by councils in, uh, in, in a way that they thought was legal, but what, in, a, in a way which we're now being advised by the government is it is clear that in some situations it has not been legal. And in the process for the future, we're trying to fix the process to, remu to remove the automatic obligation to uh, review these uh, speed limits every five years. That's not to say that speed limits cannot be reviewed. Indeed, they could still be reviewed every five years by a council if they want to, but they don't have to review them every five years in order for them to remain valid. So, Mr Speaker, uh, with those brief comments, I support the bill. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those who are of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no, the ayes have it. Land transport, speed limits, validation and other matters bill, first reading. This bill is set down for second reading forthwith. The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Uh, Mr.